What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Rad Up All Night. How are we doing tonight, guys? Thank you for hanging out with me and staying here late. Uh, I was actually just recording a show uh, over at Planet CHH. Uh, we were just recording, so it's going to be a future episode. I'm a guest on his show talking about something really rad that you guys want to look at uh, when it comes to physical media. So definitely keep your eyes open for that. So that's why um, I'm on so late tonight. But I wanted to get this done because I've had packages sitting here for like over a week and things just kept showing up and people were messaging me saying, hey, I want to send you this or hey, I heard you talk about this. Do you mind if I send it to you? You guys are nuts, man. You guys are out of control in the best way possible because again it shows me that you obviously care about the content if you want to send me some rad things now again my birthday's coming up not for like two weeks but we can call this kind of like in a little early birthday surprise because guys i have like five packages here to open from people who sent them to me so i haven't i've done this kind of before but not to this extent, and some of this I know what it is because when people say they want to send me something, I'll ask what it is first just because, again, I, I don't have a P.O. box, so I just don't want tons of stuff, you know, coming in because I don't have a lot of space. So I always kind of have an idea of, of what's coming. There is, I think, one package here that I have absolutely no idea what it is. So, um, and I can tell you right now, this is going to be pretty damn epic if everything people said they were going to send me is here because there's some stuff in here that people are like, I'm going to send it to you. Uh, you know, what's your address? It, it's nuts to me. Like it's nuts to me that people give that much of a shit about all of this and, and, and the content that I'm providing and my entertainment for them and how much this means to them. It's just wild to me. If there's some things in, in, in these packages that we're going to open tonight. So I would say it's pretty epic, to be quite honest. Um, and we're going to be, we're going to kind of see it together. I could open some of this stuff and be uh, it completely not what they said they were going to send. Who knows? But um, guys, let's tell everybody we are live tonight. So hit that like button. That helps let people know that we're live. Share this up through social media. You can do it through your YouTube. You can share the link on Instagram stories to get some people in and say, come join the party. We'll kind of see me open some cool shit over here. So... I'm going to get to the chat really quick, and I will interact with you guys as well as we kind of go through each one of these things, but um, I will say what's up. Lost Boy, Rob Romano, what's up? Going to hit the hay, long day. Dude, no problem, man. I thank you for catching the replay. appreciate that. Joe Reese, I am doing well. How are you? Mama Blu-ray in the house. Mama, how are you doing? Gus, what's up, man? Dino. Up all night, give me USA Never Flashback. Give a heck yeah. That's why we're doing it. Ace. What's up, Ace Arcadia? Go check out Ace. Razor's Edge. What's up, man? Don, thank you for popping in. Astro Juicy back over on the Twitch. He's on the Twitch. If you guys are using Twitch, I'm at Rad Pack Pod over on Twitch. John Doe Juggalo, what is up, my friend? Go check him out over there. Movie Hunter 2020 smash the like but i appreciate that man thank you so much horror collector 87 is in the house witch hunter how are you guys we have 75 people in here right now make sure i have uh some likes going on i need at least 50 right now at least 50 there's 75 people watching this 80 people watching right now 50 likes let's go sean fisher what's up man thank you for joining live this late i appreciate that phantasmaco check him out my boy what is up dude Fantas Matt was over at Horror Hound Cincy this weekend and found some Born to be Rad cards out there. So uh, there's a little street team action. He sent me a nice little picture holding it up in the convention. So thank you so much, Matt. Punisher Batman fan, what is going on? Bog Zombie, Ayo. Let's go home scene late. Oh, baby. Okay, I'm excited to see that. I really want to see that. I, I saw the trailer the other, the other day. If you guys haven't gone back and watched... Go check out my trailer video that I did like a couple, like last week where you guys told me which tra trailers to watch and I watched them live and gave you my opinions. That was my favorite trailer uh, that I saw. That and one other one um, was my favorite. So it was a pretty different concept, but I don't watch trailers often. So when you guys come into the chat and say, have you seen this? Have you seen that? I usually say no. So it was a good way for me to kind of get caught up on things that were coming 
to figure out what I wanted to, to make a priority. Late Night with the Devil was definitely one. Al Palmer, what's going on? Guys, we have 85 people in here. Thank you so much for popping in. I appreciate that. Retro Graphics Arcade, what is going on? Mama Blu-ray says, hit the likes. Hit the likes. Mama Blu-ray, I'm going to do this for you, kid. I'm going to do this for you about hitting the likes. Okay, so Mama Blu-ray says, hit the likes. And uh, so does it, Mr. Kree. So let's, let's get that going here. You have a problem with that. Sweep that like button. Sweep that like button. All right. Um, I just lost my place here now. Oh, my God. Everybody's popping in. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Scratch. What's up, man? Jesse. What's up? Twisted Trucker in the house. What's up, man? Planet CHH. Go check out Christian, my boy. That's who I was just recording with right before we went live tonight. George, favorite pizza? Um, I mean, I would say classic pepperoni but i like pepperoni with bacon i like that a lot uh probably my favorite if you're gonna say favorite pizza in general i'm gonna say pizza hut is my favorite pizza place uh that's my favorite pizza fish what's up go check out fish the film collector guy's been a og supporter for so long he's got his own channel go check him out thank you fish for being here Irvy. thanks buddy i appreciate that looking jacked baby La Crypta Video. Go check out La Crypta Video Club. Thank you for popping in, dude. Blu-ray Attic, what's up? Fight the good fight. How are you, man? I am doing well. Corey Conway loves unboxing. Can't wait. You're going to like this one, I think. <laughs> Noise Loop pause. Chaley to Camp to come chill. Thank you, man. Um, Chaley to Camp is another one we need uh, an upgrade for. Slipcover Steve in the house. He's excited to see new slipcovers. I don't know if there's going to be any slipcovers in here. I'll, uh, maybe. I don't remember what's in all this. Jim Powers. Yo, yo, yo. Yes, man. <laughs> yeah. The Roadhouse remake was a little, little odd. A little odd. Uh, yeah. Go check out if you want my real, uh, spoiler free, but my my thoughts and opinions on the new Roadhouse and the new Ghostbusters. Uh, spoiler free. So even if you haven't seen either of them, you can go check out my review. Uh, after this stream is over, I did it uh, like two nights ago. So make sure to go check out that one if you haven't. Um, yeah, I agree. Late Night with the Devil looks good. Gora Tiger, what's up, man? Thanks for popping in. Let me see. DG, what's up? What? Late Night with the Devil is getting a lot of shit up for Luge AI. I mean, guys, it can't be more AI than, than Roadhouse used. I'll tell you that much. Mid-Level Media, Ken, my boy Ken. Go check him out over at Mid-Level Media. Oh, that would have been sick, Betamax. What's up, man? Rick Moranis. Again, I agree with you on that because I would have loved to see Rick Moranis, but I think one of my biggest issues with Ghostbusters was as much as I enjoyed it and I had fun with it, it was way too many new characters, and I think it really just kind of lost its way on being focused because then it, feel, it felt to me... Watch my review, but it felt to me that not a lot of the characters got enough time because there was so much going on. So to add Rick Moranis into the mix as well... As much as I would have loved it, I would have liked to take five other new characters out of there to get him in there. Um, from screen to shelf, what's up, man? Go check out from screen to shelf. Thanks for being in here. Mick Hara with a little super chat. Oh, Doyle rules. Thank you, Mick Hara, for the super chat ski. Uh, love it, love it, love it. Let's get a little haymack. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Uh, guys, we have almost 90 people in here, 89 people right now. Um, make sure you hit the likes. If you are not subscribed, please sub to the channel. Uh, we're going to have some fun tonight. Let me see. Cray kicked that like button. A lot of crypto video knows what's up. What up, Melski? Go, uh... Welcome to Rad Street USA. You got it. One third of the Rad Pack. Make sure you're following the Rad Pack pod on youtube because we have a big show coming up on friday something different uh the name of the show is called bad neighbors so keep your eyes and ears open on our instagram you can follow mel you can follow me uh and justin on instagram and we're going to be kind of promoting it all week and giving you some ideas on what that show is going to be about so go follow mel over at my killer podcast one third of the rad pack and uh she's super melty guys so uh go check her out tj frizz what's up man Immaculate. So that was one of the trailers I watched the other night. Pretty good. 
All right, that's good to know. I like to see some good horror stuff coming out. Uh, let me see. I hope I'm not missing anybody, but I'm uh, I'm just trying to scroll through here. Bro, I will say they both looked awesome. I will give them credit for that. They look both looked awesome. Was there roids involved? Maybe. I think I've never seen McGregor look that big, dude. So they might have trend up and uh, film that movie. What's up, Sean? Um, I'm pretty sure I do. Um, unless I'm pretty positive I have them. Um, like I said, there are a couple that like are still stuck on VHS, which I either have bootlegs of or I have VHS tapes. Almost positive, but I'd have to go back and look. I think with Haim, I do. Even some of his like newer low budget ones he did, I have. Feldman, I might. I might. Ben Graham, what's up, man? Josh! Uh, what are my birthday plans? Nothing. I'll probably end up being <laughs> on here with you guys, to be quite honest with you. Um, I got to work on, on the next night, day. So my birthday is a Friday, Friday the 5th. And then the 6th, I got to work early in the morning. So it probably won't be on too late that night. But um, if he's going to act the way he did in Roadhouse, definitely not. Um, let me see. I don't think even, <laughs> I, I I don't know what that was. He just kind of walked and made noises. It wasn't really much going on there. Duh, burbs. What's up? Fight the good fight. Gizmo went to nineties con. Jay's video. He was trying to eighty bucks for autograph Friday. One twenty four. Ah, Jesus. Um, nice man. I was supposed to go. I was honestly supposed to be there because I wanted to meet Alyssa Milano and Gina Davis and get Gina Davis on my fly poster which is currently signed by Jeff Goldblum. So I really wanted to be there, and it was only an hour from my house, but the amount of money that they wanted just to walk in the door, I just was really turned off. I'd never been before, and I was excited, but I'm like, they want $95 to come in on a Saturday? That's before I even spend money on anybody? I just couldn't pull the trigger, man. I couldn't. I could not. I wanted to, but I just was really turned off by a walk-in price of like 95 That was with tax and stuff like that, too, but... Still, it was just kind of like, seriously, is this what we're getting into? Like 40 for me, 50 maybe for the day is like tops. Anything over that's a little much because you don't, you spend all your money inside. So that's crazy. What up, Huck? Thanks, man. Uh, go check out Huck Pop Culture Cafe. Uh, yeah, they did, they did a little collect, collector's club one year anniversary show tonight. So I popped in there and I was watching it, dude. So as much as I wasn't so active in the chat, I was actually cooking meals for the week and i had you on in the background so i heard it heard you talking about van damme and schwarzenegger and whatnot arnold um no roy's just a lot of prayers and vitamins brother guys share this out we got 96 people in here right now uh again i want to crack 100 that's my that's always my goal doing these things uh everybody's chatting away Yo, listen to this. What do you think of the Super Mario Super coming out again? Um, I don't care. I mean, here's the, my issue with Mario right now is I ordered that set and it's like MIA. I've been on back and forth with Umbrella all week. It's like stuck in customs. I'm so pissed because I was supposed to do a huge super show with a bunch of people unboxing this thing. And like now everybody's waiting on me. So it's really annoying. So I've been on back and forth. They've been awesome. Umbrella's been awesome. And um, I'm going to get it. But it's just a pain in the ass that it's taken so long. And I'm like, I've never had this issue before. So my set's not even here yet. So I can't even give you a review on it. Um, yeah, the 90s con was bananas. What up, what up, what up? Frozen Empire 8 out of 10. Um, first of all, it's Garrett. But uh, unless you're saying B-Rad, I don't know. But um, I like your image there on your profile picture. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I would do with it at this point. I wouldn't give it an 8 out of 10. I'd probably give it a... Seven, six and a half, maybe, maybe seven. Um, I did here. I hope, I hope it does come out. I am an Aries. I am an Aries. Booyah, August. Oh, Thank you for the little super chat action. Uh, all right, we got to get this thing moving. We already did Hames. Let's do Phil. <laughs> Guys, we're at 110 people in here. Thank you guys so much. This is freaking awesome. Uh, you guys are the best. <laughs> I mean, that's why I love doing these lives, guys. Like, you, It's just like a party in here. Guys, this is killer. 
hit that like button. If you're not sub, sub to the channel. Thank you for anybody who's shared this out. I appreciate that uh, 100%. Um, D Shaw, what's going on? Wow, I, there's so many people keep popping in. D Shaw, what's going on? I love the interaction. Thank you for coming in and saying what's up. What up, Jeff? White paid. Um, I did, and there's going to be some, I think, in these boxes right here, so we might as well get to it. Um, go check out Slipcover Steve. Oh, he loves this. He loves the slips, dude. Look at him. <laughs> I love it. Ian, go check out Ian Lives. What's up, man? Thanks for popping in. Ian Lives is a, he's, he's a new generation horror movie fan. Go check out Ian Lives. He's keeping this stuff alive. Horror Collector says, loves the shirt. Look at this. Dawn of the Dead, if there's no room, when there's no room in hell, the elves will walk the earth. Elves! Elves! If you like this shirt, you can get it over on shop.bornabyrad.com! It's a custom job. Because I'm a big elves fan. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Yeah! <laughs> Keep popping them in! Keep popping We haven't got to the good stuff yet. I'm just chatting with you guys. Hell yeah. What's up, Disha? Uh... Get those likes in the triple digits. Guys, if we can get 100 likes before this show's over, I will be... What's my favorite all-time movie? It's going to have to be Back to the Future. All-time, probably Back to the Future. Favorite. Um, so, I'm going to tell you... I'm going to showcase the one item that I got uh, that I have in hand. Um, and this was... Whoa. The Regal, the Regal exclusive. This is the only one I personally bought. The Regal exclusive trap. So pretty cool. Check it out. So I'm going to see. I'm going to turn this light on. Boom. You can see there's uh, there's lights and stuff on it. Put the popcorn in there. But what's cool about this one is it it's basically just a trap. You know, it's just a trap, but it's cool, man. Like, this is so awesome. It's got wheels. Like, I can roll this thing around. So this was a Regal Cinema exclusive because we have Regal here. We have Regal and we have Showtime. Uh, show Showcase. Showcase and Regal is what we have here. I don't have all the other ones here. So, again, what's going to be in some of these boxes is going to be items from other areas that I don't have. So people had reached out to me saying, did you get this? I said, no, I don't have those theaters. They said, you want me to grab you one? I'm like... If you want to, that would be awesome. So there are some of those in here as well. Um, so yeah, I do have quite a bit now. As long as they're in these boxes, I think they're in here. Um, <laughs> what up, Joe? I poked a like. Uh, all right. All right, TJ, you're right. We got to open this now. Open this stuff. Okay, let's at least open one. Top one over here. This is from, this is from a subscriber named Mark that... I always say when people say they're going to send me something, I'll give him a big shout out stuff. He doesn't have a channel or anything like that. So it's just Mark. So Mark, if you are watching, thank you so much uh, for, for this bad boy. And I kind of know what it is, but this thing shipped fast, man. He, he reached out to me on Thursday and this thing came on Saturday. So he reached out to me. I think maybe it was Wednesday he reached out to me. And this thing got, came on Saturday. I was like, wow, this guy freaking flew. All right, so speaking of <laughs> Ghostbusters stuff, he snagged me, he got me, gave me a little Stay Puff sippy cup drink uh, type thing. So very cool. Now look at this. It's got two heads, and then I guess you could turn them around. Um, do I open this guy? I'm going to probably open it. So I guess you could take his head and turn it around. So look at that. So you can either use this one or you can use this guy. And uh, there's no straw, so I don't know if it's in here somewhere. But this is uh, this is the Sippy Cup AMC exclusive. Um, so that's cool. This is cool. I, I It's funny because I had gotten... Um, some people asked me to get, get them this Regal Trap. So I did, and then they asked me about the Sippy Cup. But this... AMC, uh, the cups at Regal were different. The cups at Regal were like, they almost looked like like the, you know, if you get water cups, like the nice metal looking ones. 
and at the top it had like different characters that you could put on the top of it it wasn't this um they did, regal had something different not this one so this is cool i like this he just kind of sits there i will open this guy um where am i gonna put him i don't know but uh very very cool man um mark thank you so much for that and then i've got the other trap now i don't know much difference here besides this one has like a big purple bowl on the top all right let's look at this bad boy and uh, compare it i mean what's the difference here this one's got a big bowl on the top does this bowl come off oh this one looks a little bit like you can't tell but this one looks a little distressed and this one looks very clean so it's hard to tell like this one's very clean and this one's got almost like uh it looks almost dirty kind of you can see it right there um does this come off oh it, it does this I, see i didn't think this was going to come off when i saw pictures of it okay so this shuts wow this is pretty cool though oh yeah somebody said they they did they did um a regal set oh, the regal one is good the amc the 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 strips are all wrong aha uh aha -huh. uh -huh. What up, Karen? Go check out Spirits and Screams. She's running a new name over there. Go check her out. She used to be Ocean Chick Films. Go check out Sip Spirits and Screams. This is cool. I mean, I guess it's cool to have both of them. Does this thing light up too? Let me see. What does this thing do? I don't see. Does this thing open? Oh, there's like a little pull tab in here. I don't know, know how to... Oh, it's got a little on and off button. Ooh. Now, does this thing open, or I just got to pry it open? I think you just got to pry it open. Look at that. It's got a little light in there. Let me see. Oh, that's cool. Cool, man. Actually, you know what? I did see someone post something where they had... I think Christian sent it to me. Someone put their slimer, their translucent slimer in there. It actually looked kind of cool. All right, so this one like Wow. Dude, thank you so much for sending me this. Like I said, I didn't have AMCs, so I wasn't going to be able to get this. I didn't even realize that this was... I saw that there was a popcorn trap, but I didn't realize that there was multiple. So when you messaged me about it and said, hey, do you want me to send these to you? Um, and I said, sure. I did a little research and I realized, oh, wait, there's two different ones. There's like a Regal one and an AMC one. So very, very cool. Um, let me see... Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm losing uh, my place here. All right, let's see, let's see. Uh... <laughs> the perks of being a successful... Yeah, I mean, there are perks, but a successful YouTuber, I'm sure. I'm still a little guy, dude. Most of the zombie get the AMC one. John Flick stream, it's awesome. I did see the new Ghostbusters, Sean. Go check out my review after you're done watching this show. Uh, we've got 117 people in here. So, guys, thank you again so much. Um, let me see. Ben Grimm says he got that cup. Was drinking Slimer. Oh, I didn't get to try the Slimer Icy. Is that only an AMC exclusive? Yeah, they're both cool, actually. They're both cool. What's up, Dirk? Go check out Subjective Perspective Collective. Uh, man, I got a bunch of boxes that subscribers sent me. And I'm opening them up now. And uh, the first thing I got was I got this, this Ghost Trap popcorn thing for the new ghostbusters movie along with a uh, slimer i mean a uh, stay puff sippy cup so that's very very cool um jesus man i like the i like the gimmicks but there's so many golden ticket simon had a tin rectangle box looked like the fire station see like it's just wild like there was so many that's the only thing i don't like about it is all these cinemas now are doing their own thing and it's like as collectors you want it all so you're chasing things around and there's not, nobody has all these cinemas. Like, I think Christian actually had to get someone to send him, he wanted him to send him something from, like, Cine, Cineplex or Cine, I don't know, like a, like a smaller theater or something. I was like, I don't even have any of those around here. Oh, see, so Josh, you're, you're, what, uh, what, what company theater do you have? All right, so that's my first box. Like I said, that was from a subscriber, Mark. Doesn't have a channel or anything like that, so, uh, no shout out I could give them. Uh, this one is. Let me see here. Right. 
I think this is from a subscriber. I've got it written down here so I didn't forget. Um, Derek, I believe. All right, so this is kind of a this kind of go Cinemark. Um, so speaking of that, here's here's the companion piece to that. Ah, he's bigger than I thought. Look at this. Dude. See, like I don't have a Cinemark here either, so this is cool. But the one I think. There was a variant of this with a blue one. It said Cineplex. I don't know where that theater is. I have no idea. Let me just make sure there's no like other cards or anything in here. Wow, good, good, good wrapping job, people. I've now I've got stuff everywhere. But guys, this thing was wrapped perfectly. Thank you so much. So very cool. Um, now what I saw online was that you could take this guy and you could put him in here try it out okay so you got this going and then he glows i guess it's hard to see now but so i guess in the dark he would glow because he's translucent inside this thing so i guess that's pretty neat but um man i love these gimmicks the only issue is <laughs> where the heck am i gonna put them but i just love it i i love that these movies are doing these gimmicks like they would do back in the day we didn't get a lot of that for a long time so it's super cool this thing's big dude it's a lot bigger than i thought um i like this thing a lot so very very cool derek thank you so much for reaching out and getting me this thing i, I totally totally appreciate that like i said i don't have a cinemark here either so um phantasm matt says he wants to fill his with fake popcorn. that's actually a good idea get some fake popcorn put him in here Cineplex is Canada, so I think Christian got sent one from, must have been from Canada. That's funny. Um, Ecto-1, so I have an Ecto-1 popcorn bucket from Afterlife, so I didn't get that one. I'm assuming that probably sold out pretty quick. Um, but yeah, I do have the Ecto-1 from Afterlife that came out. It was like a, I don't know if it was AMC, but um, they were able to get him online, I think, when those came out. Um... Ian says that's sick. My theater is cool. Never has cool stuff. I'm lucky to find a poster. Yeah, and in the, in the I have somebody that I know that works at the theater that will hook me up with posters a lot. But it's a showcase cinema, and his theater didn't really have anything for um for for Ghostbusters. So again, I'm just adding to the 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 prop list over here. Um, but very very cool guys. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much for reaching out and asking if I needed anything. I, I totally appreciate that. And I totally appreciate your support. And again, I don't, the least I can do is just tell me like, if you need anything, shout it out and people to check you out. All good, man. I, I don't know what else to say to do. Thank you so much. Um, again, there's, there's more um, to come here. So guys, I'm going to get to it now. I'll get to the next one. Now this one, I, uh... all right. This one is from, I, I hope he's subscribed. Um, <laughs> knowing him, he might not be. But this one is coming from one third of the Rad Pack, Mr. Justin, a.k.a. Justin David, a.k.a. the Rad Rancer, a.k.a. Justin M.F. David, a.k.a. Movie Watch Daily, a.k.a. The Dead Couch, my boy, Justin. Go check him out on all those ats that i just said go check him out there he sent me this thing because he's such a good guy and i know he knows i would enjoy it so much he said he said i know you're gonna really enjoy this oh Oops. here's the straw cool uh, he said i know you're really gonna enjoy this so i'm gonna send it your way and that's okay because i got him one of those traps in return as a thank you uh for this so I got him one of the traps from cinema, uh, from my local theater, which was Regal. Oh boy. Oh boy. He said he has this and he said, dude, it's like my favorite thing in my collection. So I said, you know what? Because you're putting it over so much, I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, and that is the, the, <laughs> the doom bucket. This bad boy that's been making its rounds on the internet 
And on the news, this is the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. What was the... Who thought of this thing? But Justin says he like, loves his for some reason. He says he, he's, he hangs out with it every night. He says it's great. So I said, you know what? <sighs> Fine. You can send me one. And cool, man. Look at this. Anybody else here have a Dune bucket? Now, if anything, I think that this is cool to have because this is something that could be worth something someday because it's so bonkers and it's making like mainstream media on how wild this thing is. So is that a use? I hope it's not a used bucket. Let me take a look in here and see if I see anything funky. Is it supposed to be buttered? Is it supposed to be buttered? No, that thing's clean, baby. That thing's clean. Uh, but yeah, he was putting it over hard. So I was like, dude, yeah, just just send me one, man. Of course. I think he said he had like two of them. So that's why two or three. And I was like, dude, you don't need all that. So if you want to send it this way, I'll get you that trap. And what a guy. But uh, yeah, this is the interesting Dune bucket. But like I said, I think this is something that could possibly be a collector's item back in the day. So uh, if you guys uh, <laughs> let me know in the chat or in the comments, do you have a Doom bucket? Uh, let me know. So again, we are all about the the theater props tonight. Um, <laughs> of course, just loves the Doom bucket. <laughs> oh, Jay Real, you gotta send Jay Real a Doom bucket. Uh, that's actually Matt. That's actually what you gotta do. To be honest with you, hundred percent. I will. I will pitch in if you do that. You saw a guy use it on Twitter. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> they heard they were pretty durable. <laughs> Gently used. <laughs> oh, great. This video is not going to get monetized because I showed the Doom Bucket. No Doom Bucket for me, but Justin made it look very inviting. He did, and he's like, I think he had three, and I had to, you know, and he told me he thinks I should. I was like, yeah, dude, you don't need three. Like, come on. He's just he's going, you know, buck wild over there. <laughs> so guys I've, i'm overloaded with theater props right now i'm overloaded with theater props there's boxes everywhere there's stuff everywhere i have two more boxes right now one i know what it is or i'm supposed to know what it is i, I know what they told me it is and if this is what they said it is i can't even understand and fathom why and how or why they got this for me, but I'm gonna 100% appreciate it. And then I have one more box that I don't know what's in it. it he so it could be interesting. So the the finale is now. The finale is now. So make sure you are sharing this stream up right now. Hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. I'm going to put the ticker on right now so you can subscribe over to the Rad Pack channel because we want all of you to come in on Friday and hang out with us over there. But now's the time you want to share this stream out because we've got some grand finale stuff coming right now. Um, he was definitely getting bucket wild. What up, Ryan OG? What up? What up? Hit that like chat. Oh, I should blur the Dune bu bucket for the replay. I should. <laughs> Texas, you kidding me? <laughs> the crow popcorn bucket. That it's gonna be interesting. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna get the little banner. Let's see. I'm gonna get the little banner going. Okay. All right. You guys are killing it over there in the comments. Killing it in the comments. Now's your time. Okay. If this is what I think it is, it screams so much rad. You don't even know. Okay, let me tell you a little backstory. Let me let me tell you a little backstory on this. I'm going to take a little drink ski here. Now. <clears throat> when I saw this getting released and when I saw this coming out, I posted on my Instagram stories <clears throat> something along the lines of like to somebody, you know, if anybody's looking to buy me a Christmas present, here it is. And I just posted that knowing 
for the price of this thing that no, everybody was just going to laugh and keep going as a funny joke. Well, it's not Christmas, but this person reached out to me and said, hey, man, I want to send you something for all your content, for all your entertainment. And I said, and he said, you know, what's your address? And, and I need a size. So I was like, okay. I'm like, well, what, you know, what, what do you plan on sending? Just, I just want to make sure because, you know, I don't have a PO box. So it's probably going to come here to the house, blah, 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 blah. So he told me and I was like, why are you going to send me this? And he's like, cause I want to. And I said, eh. you know, in my head, I feel kind of guilty, but I said to myself, how can I say no to this right now? And uh, this was from a dude named Don. Uh, he goes on Instagram as uh, Don of the Dead, 666. He's also in this chat, or he was in this chat, and he goes by Razor's Edge. And, um, man, let's rip this thing open and see what we got in here. Because this is this might be pretty sick. <laughs> so, um, all right, what's up, Bryce? I see you. I see you popping in. Okay, let's take a little look here. Oh boy. Oh boy. You did it, dude. You did it. Shit. I don't even know what to say, man. <laughs> He's still here, bro. Yo, go follow this guy on Instagram, YouTube, whatever he wants. You do it. This is killer, dude. I, I don't even know what to say, man. I, I, I don't know what to say because this thing is not, not cheap. I'll tell you that much. But it's rad. I'll tell you that much. Oh, baby. Okay. If you were a big mark. If you're a wrestling mark, you'll appreciate this. If not, you might not. But this is a jacket for early 90s WCW. Look at this thing. Holy crap. <laughs> Son of a gun, you. I... <sighs> Ugh. This is killer, man. Oh, this is killer, man. Oh. oh my gosh. Look at this. It fits freaking awesome. How sick is this jacket? Oh, 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 oh man. Oh man. Dude, <laughs> this is so sweet. I'm a huge 90s, w, early 90s WCW with a big boys play. Wow, look at this. Cody's going to freak. Wes is going to freak. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Thank you so much, man. Holy crap. This is no joke. This is no joke. Damn. <laughs> Look at this. He's buying more jackets. He got his WrestleMania 40 Philly jacket in you. Dude, man. Dude, thank you so much. <laughs> oh my God. People are going nuts. Let's see what they say. Fire. Dope. Ian lives fire. That's sick. Raises edge. You're a good dude for real. Awesome. Wes is gonna be jealous. Big Cass, what's up? Thank you, man. Thank you, Fish. WCW fan. Oh, you're gonna appreciate this, man. Look at that. I love the colors. Ian says that's awesome. Looks good. Thank you, D Shaw. Mel's still here. Looking rad. Thank you, Punisher. Blu-ray attic. That's awesome. They're sick, dude. These are sick, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Matt Gonzalez is here. Spirit and Screams is here. 
I do still have it. I still have that rad jacket. Dude, thank you so much. I do. I mean, like I said, look at the back. Boom. A little WCW action over here. This is sweet. Woo! Thank you so much, man. Uh, I don't even know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. Um, I wanted it. Uh Dude, thank you again. I'm going to I'm going to go to the last package here. This is a complete mystery, okay? Uh thanks Eli. Thanks Eli. All right. This is a complete mystery and to be honest, um he sent two packages and one got damaged and it got sent back, so he's going to he's going to refix it and send it again. Um so that was another reason I was holding off. I was hoping to get that second package so I can get it all done in one hit. But I, it's just going to take too long, and I was just stacking up so many packages I wanted to, to do this show. But this dude has been another guy who's been just so supportive of the channel. Um, you guys probably hear uh, his stuff. He does some custom songs for me and the channel. He does some custom songs for the Rad Pack channel. He's a, he's a member of the channels, his, both channels as well. Um, we got very similar interests. Uh, he's not in this chat right now, but he, I hope all is well. I'm sure he'll watch on the replay. It'll probably be mad. He didn't see it. And that's Mr. You probably see him in the chat. Dynamite Tiger. Uh, so the songs you hear before the shows more or less are some custom joints from him, uh, for, for the show. Yo, stunt man. <laughs> I could check out Mark. Yo, I just opened this. This was a gift. This was a gift, dude. Um, so he said he wanted to send me a package and a bunch of stuff, and he said it was going to be a gift gift box. So I, I I don't know what's in here, and I trust him. So I was like, dude, whatever whatever you want to send me, man, I'll I'll open it live. So Dynamite Tiger, go follow him on Instagram. I you can check and see if he has a YouTube, but he's usually in the chats. Um, so I, I don't know what to expect here. I really I really don't. So this could. This could be pretty rad because I know we have very similar tastes. Um, and I also know that there is a box missing. So let's see what kind of stuff I'm going to pull out of this thing right now. It says fragile, fragile. All right. This, this might be interesting. What the hell? Oh, goodness. Okay. All right, still have it over here. I was sent this original Toxic Crusader figure because I had mentioned on a stream how much I wanted it as a kid. I never had it, and I was going to buy the Trick or Treat Studios version. And that is one of the gifts right now. Look at this. The Trick or Treat Studios Toxie to mimic the OG Toxic Crusader. And to be honest, he's a little bit bigger, but it's pretty dead on. So that's super, super cool. Super cool. Um, if you guys haven't checked that out, the Toxie Toxic Crusader figure. This is from Trick or Treat Studios. They are putting this out. Uh, very, very awesome. So now I have the OG and I have the new one. So Mike, thank you so much. There's more in here. Oh boy. What the fuck? <laughs> you guys are out of control. All right. I had to have told this story then. I had to have told this story. All right, you guys are killing me. All right, <laughs> tell me if you've heard this. One. Tell me if you've heard this one before. I don't know where I said it. I could have been on a Rad Pack show. I don't remember. Could have been on a Rad Pack members only stream. I don't know. So I used to work for Abercrombie. I used to work for Hollister back in the day. And <laughs> a 
when we get in, they tell us like where they wanted us to be. You know, like you're gonna do dressing room, you're gonna do folding, you're gonna go in the back or whatever. And uh, they used to sometimes put me out front of the store, and I would have to try to be like a greeter. Now, you know, people look at Abercrombie, and they've got they had their tactics. I didn't see the tactics at the time, but I now watching the documentary, I kind of get it. Oh shit, this is a members only stream, Bell. <laughs> shit. So I'm telling this story to everyone now. Damn it, cuz uh, so Oh my god. So they used to put us out there every once in a while. They used to put me out there and I can remember we got these new jeans in at the time and they were like built so there was like a button fly and it was supposed to kind of almost make your you look like you had like like you were had like kind of a bulge due to the way the fly would work and it was like a whole gimmick that they were rocking with and um so they wanted it to look like well endowed i guess it was kind of part of that thing so for a while they wanted us to wear the jeans and promote it and then they wanted us to say a tagline like if you were a, if you were a greeter <laughs> and it would say do you, do you hear how great our jeans fit that that's what I had to say all like that you had to say that to every person who walked in. Hey, did you hear how great? And I used to hate it because I was like, it sounds so stupid. Did you hear how great our jeans fit, right? Um, <laughs> and it's not it's not the jeans. I have the jeans still. I have those jeans still. But <laughs> it's like a it's like a, oh, there's a it's a card. It's a card. So he has an Abercrombie thing with my face on it. And on the top, it says, have you heard how great our jeans fit? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> He's freaking killing me. I mean, to be quite honest, my my physique doesn't look that much different than this one right here. He actually did a pretty good job doing that. So uh, thank you for that, by the way. Um, have you heard how great our jeans fit? Okay, now it doesn't... <laughs> oh, yeah. When did I... T Wait. How did, was that a member's... Justin said he would work in the back. Yeah, because... Oh, Gus, you were a... Oh, you were a buyer? So... <laughs> what's up, Giz? Um, so, when they released... There's a documentary on Abercrombie on Netflix, I think. And what they did was, I guess... I didn't realize this at the time, but they used to like look and see who was on shift... And I guess that they would find like the, I hate saying this, like, I don't know. They, I, I guess they made a decision on like, due to attractiveness levels would be like where you were working that day. I didn't, I never knew this, but like, I always wanted to work in the back and I never got put in the back. And I was always so pissed because you could just kind of like listen to music and like sort shit out back there. So I was always kind of mad because every time I went in the back to get something, they looked like they were having a ball. They were just kind of sitting around putting things on like back stock opening boxes and stuff listening to like like i don't know at the time it was like more like emo music or whatever but or like screamo whatever it was so like they would just chill back there and i always want to look in the back but then come to find out during the the documentary they said that they would put the people the least attractive of the bunch that was there in the back which i didn't realize that was even a thing so when we did the <laughs> When we we did the uh the stream, the members only stream, Justin said he would always be in the back. <laughs> oh my god. Um You know what though? I was too. That was the thing. Like that was always the thing with me. It's like I that's who I was. But it was like I think it was like externally what everybody assumed I was I was. You know what I mean? It's weird. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. No, TJ, stop it. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, funny story. This was said on the members only. If you guys are not members of the Rad Pack Pod channel, go be members because we'll do members only live streams. And we'll just talk about weird shit like that. Uh, weird stories. So this card says to the raddest gene salesman in town. Thanks for all you do to make life more rad. God bless Mike D. Hope you enjoy the gifts and the big ones for your son okay so funny story i had to retell again um so i assume it's this one which is a karate kid book kids book which is super killer look at that that is nuts 
So I'm assuming that one is for him. And it looks like this clothes in here. Oh my goodness. All custom clothes? Rad bandanas. Bandanas. What the heck is going on? Um, you got some tees, a little hoodie. Look at this a little hoodie action. This guy like did custom gear, dude. Custom gear. <sighs> hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Fucking close, dude. <laughs> what the heck? What the? These are like the gloves Johnny wore on this motorcycle, dude. At uh, from Karate Kid. I'm gonna put these on. These motorcycle gloves, dirt bike gloves. It says "Stay Rad" on it. This guy is out of control, man. Look at this. What the heck? It's like play dress up right now. I got the jacket, got the gloves. It matches the jacket. Look at this. My senior year. X degenerate man. I'm gonna make it work. Look at that. Whew. What the heck? Shorts? Look at this guy. What is going on here? I'm not putting the shorts on. If it was a members only stream, maybe the shorts would go on now. Um <laughs> Bro, I'm going to tell you right now, I have this. I'm going to tell you right now, I have the, the hard cover, but this is freaking insane. This is not a cheap book, dude. This is the Lost Boys Lost in the Shadows book. Um, I do have the hardcover first pressing, but the hardcover is tough, man, to get through because it's, it's, it's the hardcover, like it's hard to get the pages going. So, I mean, this is going to be an easy one, but this is not cheap, dude. This is, this is pretty sick. Thank you so much, man. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got, man, he stuffs a lot of stuff in here. We got a Johnny shirt. What does it say on there? What does he say on there? Cobra Kai never dies. Got a little Johnny action. Jeez, everything's the pink, the pink and blue today. I that's kind of what I was saying. Yeah, it's always nice to have that because you actually read it. Oh, dude, I am all ratted out for real. I'm just gonna be like, I'm just gonna be all gimmick now, basically. That's gonna be it. I'm just gonna be all all gimmick now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, hold up, hold up. <laughs> it's just going to be awesome. my computer. Because I have the gloves on, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Shoot. I don't want to shut this thing down. Let me see. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, all right. Another shirt. Another Cobra Kai joint. Sorry, it's hard to do with these gloves on. Cobra Kai never dies. T. Damn, bro. Damn, man. Another Cobra Kai T. Look at this. It's like freaking Christmas over here. It's Christmas in March right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> I still believe little Tim Capello shirt. Look at this. Ooh, damn, man. All right, I got to take these gloves off because there's some, some papers in here. It's still more in here. Ugh. <laughs> it would be cool if I pulled a head up. Whew. All right, look at this. So we've got some, some Corey's memorabilia in here. It looks like a lot of like printouts from like some teen beat magazines 
So we've got some articles. Look at that. Oh, Prayer of the Roller Boys. Look at this. A little spread. Where do you get these from, anyways? Look at this, dude. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that, baby. A little hamster fold out. Woo! Sick. Where the heck did he find this stuff, man? I got the fell dog. Wow, this is sick. Let's see. <laughs> we, got a, we got a hamster and a felder. No, who's that? John Stamos! John Stamos! Sick. He's on the back of this ham poster. Where the hell? What is this from? TV hits. Look at that. Sick. Uh, let's see. Wow. Got a lot of stuff in here. Now, what's this one? What's this one? You got Heyman Feldies. What are these from? These have got to be from, like, some old mags. Look at that, dude. I'm gonna have to just copy this hair, his hairstyle here on this one. Damn, dude, super super cool, man. I don't know where you got all this stuff from. You must have such a big collection. I don't have any of that. There's another poster here. What the heck is this one? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. wow, it's a big boy. Look at this. You got Feldman, and look who's on the back. River Phoenix, dude. Look at that. Wow. Dude, I mean, these posters might be pretty valuable, man. Damn. Dude, thanks so much, man. Those are pretty, pretty sick. And there is one more thing in this box. And it looks to be sunglasses of some kind, so so all your dreams might come true here we got a little rad bracelet we get a rad keychain and what are these things oh baby now i think this completes the look that everybody wanted holy crap look at these suckers and it says rad right in the front. The <laughs> people popping into this chat are gonna be like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god, did you guys did you guys talk? I mean look at this. Look at this gear. Did you guys talk? Wow, dude. I mean Was this dress up Garrett night or something like that? Holy crap, guys. This was pretty sick. And he said there's another package coming. So I, I don't even know what to say. Um, is this the, is this the, is this going to be the look now? It's just going to be the glasses and the jacket every time. Dude, for real. Like, I mean, my birthday's in two weeks, guys. So, I mean, I, I can at least say thank you for the early birthday gifts. It's like you, like I'm getting the new studio ready. Like at that point with the new studio, I just should just be like this. It's like a, it's like the evolution of the character, I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, the, towards me or the other way? Which one? Uh, <laughs> uh, does it? How does it look though? Does it look fly though? Does that look dope. Um. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that don't like me, so I'm only assuming that this is going to make them like me even less, to be quite honest with you. So, <laughs> so TJ, if you want me to wear this every stream, uh, people are going to like me even less if I did that. So, I don't know. 
The haters will come everywhere. Come after me. Um, dude, I have the outfit from Reigns World. I have it. I have that outfit. I'll wear that next time. Um, mine's the fifth Huckster, so we're close. We're close. Rad drip. Oh, it looks kind of cool. Nice. We got a lot of April birthdays. Oh, that's a front of a store look right there. And I, then I have the gloves too. I have the gloves, but the, the, the man, the jacket and the glasses are like, they were meant to be at this point. Holy crap. Dude, you know, it's all I can do, man. I just got to keep it real. I'm nice to everyone. Some people just don't like me. What can I say, man? I, you know, what can I say? I'm nice to everybody. Um, <laughs> Oh my god. That is rad. That is rad. You guys have the same birthday. Guys, we've been on here an hour. Um, <laughs> Uncle Rad is going to be pretty jealous of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, uh, you ever watch wrestling where they do like the six second pose? I'm going to click this off. I'm going to give you guys, um, I'm going to give you guys a couple seconds to do some screenshots, post on Instagram and on YouTube and tag me. Here we go. There it is. Screenshot that. All right, guys, I don't even know what else to say. Thank you to everybody. We've had over 100 people in here pretty much the whole time. Thank you guys so much. Again, I'm so happy that you guys are enjoying the content. Again, make sure you're going back and watching some of my videos. If you want to see my trailer reactions uh, of the movies coming out, there's a lot I didn't like. There's a lot I liked a lot. Um, come back for the live streams. These are really fun. We can just kind of hang around. Make sure you show up to the Rad Pack pod this Friday night. This Sunday night coming a week from today, we're going to be back on this channel. We're going to be doing Scream Factory Year 7. Um, and I'm sure you'll see me throughout the week. I don't know if... I, I think I have some shows, but I don't know for sure. Uh, I'd have to go back and look. But definitely subscribe to the Rad Pack Pod channel. Everybody I shouted out tonight, subscribe over to them. Um, it's on a Friday my birthday is. Yeah. Dude, thank you so much, Dallas. Um, get a shot of the back of the jacket. All right, let's see. Boom. Hey, thanks, Ian, for popping in. I appreciate that, guys. Appreciate that so much. Um, again, hit that like button. Share with your friends. Uh, if you want to check out my reviews on Roadhouse and the new Ghostbusters, that is up now. I also did a real fun video, guys. Go check it out. I put it out last week. It's about product placement, as you can see. It's basically like I'm just like an image of the product placement right now. Um, but yeah, guys, go check that out. I had a lot of fun doing that video too. So thank you guys for checking this out. This is Garrett at Born to be Rad. And like always, stay 